I just want to say that I know that this talk through was kind of all over the place. Um, I was upset. I was preaching the whole nine. It's your girl Nia Nicole and guess what? I am back with another video. Mm, this one hell of a way to start a video. <laughs> oh well. So this is going to be a get ready with me chit chat. Cause girl, I got an opinion. You know me, you know I have an opinion on things. There's drama in our beauty community. And the community that I want to be in. <laughs> with some people that I actually really like and follow. I had to drink some water to get my throat prepared for all that I'm about to say. So today, we're gonna be using the Morphe palette. I know y'all probably like, dang girl, I'm tired of you using this Morphe palette. You getting your coins worth, right? I'm doing a fall look today. Let's talk about it. First things first, if you don't know, the situation is with Gabriel, Manny MUA, Laura Lee, Nikita Dragon, and Jeffree Star. Mm. And I was going to watch and screen record Gabriel's initial apology. Just because he's the one that started all the drama with the Twitter post and whatnot. But I think that's irrelevant. This, main, this video is mainly to talk about Laura Lee. Um, and then to share my opinion on Jeffree Star. I don't like to beat around the bush. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to screen record on my phone. <sighs> I'm going to put it right here. So I've already watched. Oh, I don't want notifications when she posts. Sorry. Sorry, Lurley. I like you. I'm a supporter, but I don't want your notifications. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. Hey guys. I know I haven't been on YouTube or any social media a little over a month now. I wanted to. Okay. <laughs> As I'm starting to play this, I will comment really quickly um, because I have watched this and I have watched her apology um, before she deleted it. Um, what I will say is, Laura Lee, I do still support you. Um, no, I don't feel that your tweets were right, but I also do feel that those tweets were years ago and people grow people learn people change we all make mistakes when we're younger and we all say things in the heat of the moment that we don't mean so while we do that i'm going to start with my p louise base i'm going to prime my eyes and we're going to play this video to come back to youtube with this video to talk to you guys about a couple of things first off i want to say i've missed you guys so 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 much um second of off i want to talk to you guys a little bit about my apology video, which was the last video that I had posted on my channel. And I owe you guys a sincere apology. I, in that video, I come off more as a victim. I am not a victim in any way, form or fashion in this situation. I'm taking the video down because it doesn't re represent me well. I am not. Um, I feel like taking the video down was kind of a cop out or you're trying to run from it but hey that is just my opinion let's keep watching what she has to say taking the video, video down to try to hide it from you guys so or pretend like it didn't happen oh well like, she said it <laughs> literally all over the internet so if you guys wanted to see it you totally could i'm taking it off my channel because it does not represent the human being that i am today and in the video you guys received more of a reaction on the situation than you did even a response and i hope that makes sense to you guys and that is my reasoning for taking it down. Next, I want to talk to you guys about my past and my past tweets and retweets that I had posted. First off, I take full responsibility for the things that I retweeted and the things that I tweeted six and a half years ago. I'm definitely glad she's taking ownership. That came out that weren't real. I will put the ones that are real on the screen and I am truly sorry. I have changed so much as a human being in the past six and a half years. I have grown so much and have gained so much knowledge and respect. I know that prejudice and stereotypes are not funny ever in any way fashion or form i know that is nothing to joke about and i understand that through the situation i have grown and i have learned so much and 
I'm gonna continue to learn and grow. And with taking time off, I took the time and thought about my positioning, who I am, why I started this journey. And I came to realize I literally have millions of people watching me. I am a role model and I have to stand for more and I have to do a better job and I'm going to do that. I want to help this whole community that right now is not in a good place to turn it around and put it in a beautiful place. where. Okay, I'm going to pause that because she brought up the whole community and I will say, I want to give a hand clap to my beauty guru faves for not being in no drama right now. Um, Laura Lee, you are one of my faves, but you're in the drama, so I won't hang glad for you. Um, but I want to acknowledge Raven Elise, <laughs> Jackie Ina, Makeup Shayla, Aaliyah, um, Ray Ray, Nicole Guerrero, Carly Bible, Ashley, I don't know how to say her last name, but Ashley D. Um, and Anyone else that I follow and I support, I'm I'm really glad that my top faves that I really support, Alyssa Ashley, Alyssa Forever, Arnell, I'm I'm really really glad that you guys are not involved in this. Um, I again, I love you guys so much. I've missed you so much, and I promise I'm gonna get back to makeup. I'm gonna get back to my passion and what I love so much about YouTube and you guys. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. I I accept that. I do. Um, I get exactly where she was coming from. Um, I, I get this was an eye-opener for her. Um, I, was, I really wanted to play Gabriel's side of the story because it explains a lot. But I just don't have time to sit here for 50 minutes to watch that and break it down. I understand why he's apologizing to Jeffree Star. My opinion, I would not be apologizing to that man. Jeffree Star, I don't like you. As a inspiring beauty guru, influencer, whatever you wanna call it in the community, um, I was looking to forgive you and to move forward. Um, but this just showed me even more reason why. You're a pig, you're a terrible person. What you did was very insensitive um considering you've been in that position before in your lifetime so i feel like you should have been a little more understanding granted they came well they he came for you and it involved other people um but that wasn't right of you at all for you to milk the hell out of this situation okay well because well, <laughs> of my blood pressure getting high but let me keep going because this is makeup this is not just me ranting i'm doing my makeup too Gonna take one of these red brown colors out of the Morphe palette. I feel like you took pure you you used your platform to be evil. Granted, what they said and what they did was not right. Whether you guys fell out, whether you're still friends, whatever the case may be, you took this opportunity when the world was against them to be against them too. You've been in that situation. Do you not recall when the world was calling you a racist? Or they're still calling you a racist? What you did, whether you bought up the tweets of the, these people's old tweets or whether your fans drew up the old tweets. What you did was you laughed. These people were once your friends. How do you say, how do you sleep at night knowing that you laughed in someone else's misery? How do you sleep? How was that fair? Because I'm sure before you guys fell out, they were there for you when the world was against you. Why would you do that to them? That is not right. That is insensitive. That is like literally terrible. Like you're a terrible person. I don't even know how else to put it. What are the words to say? You are a terrible person. You should have done, which I'm not saying you had to pick up the phone. I'm not saying you had to go to their house and be their bestie. What I'm saying, what you simply could have done since you wanted to be on Twitter with your Twitter thumbs anyways, was simply send them a tweet. Hey, you for this situation, but I will be a shoulder to lean on if you need me. Because you know why? The world has been against me too. This is way bigger than any argument that we've 
been through, this is bigger than what we fell out about. This is way bigger than that. The world is currently against you and I want to let you know that I'm for you and that I'm here for you. You know why? Because I've been in those same shoes. That would have been the human thing to do. But you being the pig that you are, the pig that you are, you took it upon yourself to milk the situation and to make a terrible situation worse with your fans coming for those people. If everything was ripped from you today, what would you have? That's not right what you did to those people. That is nasty and that's not fair to them, to the brands you work with, to their family members, to your family members. That's not fair. That's nasty. And that ain't right at all. Jeffree Star, you're a pig. Troll me, comment, do whatever you feel if you support Jeffree Star. I frankly don't care. Who kicked somebody while they were down? What happened to when they go low, I go high? Instead of you doing that, you went low. You went low. You even went lower. Who can respect you after that? Mm. Oh, this got my, my, my body hot. I am. Oh, my blood pressure is hot. Because you just don't do that to people. Okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Finish this look. Right now, I'm just putting this like burgundy cherry, whatever color. Whew, my blood pressure is high. Mm, 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 mm. I don't even know what to say. I want to put this brown. Okay. Do I want to put this brown on my lid? Or. Because I wanted to do a gold lid. I think I'm going to still do a gold lid. I feel like this happened for a reason. I will say. This happened for a reason. I'm going to tell you why. Maybe this. It's opening doors for new beauty gurus to come in um, and new people to be our all time faves and the people that are on top and things like that. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is why that happened. But it's also a really bad look because it, it scares people like me that aspire to be in this beauty community and that wants to be in the positions that you guys are in. Um, you're able to live your dream to do what you love every day. This did was this let brands, companies, and things know that you can't just put your all into a certain fishbowl of people that there's plenty of fish in the sea. And um, it's time for you to give other people a chance to do what they love and to step in. It makes me really sad and upset knowing that I really do want to be in this community. I still want to be in the community. This is a dream of mine. I love doing makeup. I love telling people about makeup. I love helping people with their makeup. And I have fun doing this. I have a great time watching people's videos. I love YouTube. I watch YouTube. That's like the only thing that I watch. But to know that the community that I really want to be in is falling apart right now and is in shambles hurts my feelings. I think it's time. I think it's time to shuffle the beauty community. I think it's time to allow new people to step in and do what they love. Not saying that you could knock down the other people. Not saying that because I definitely feel like they should still be on this platform. They should still be able to do what they love because they love to do it just as much as anyone else. I believe this happened for a reason, a blessing and a lesson, definitely. Um, and what I want to say to the people involved, um, I don't know your faith, I don't know what you believe in, but I'm going to tell you based off what I believe in, this is all happening for a reason. He's never gonna give you God, the Lord, um, is never gonna give you something that you can't handle or that's too much for you. He gave you this for a reason, he put you here for a reason. A lesson a blessing um i simply say learn from it grow from it don't dwell on it don't sit don't just sit in it um and allow yourself time to heal to grow to learn and to understand um this too shall pass um i just feel like just draw near to him be thankful for the platform that you have 
I feel like this is the time where you learn to be grateful and appreciative and you show that this is not who you are. This is making you grow to be the next person. It's taking you to the next level that you're not going to just sit and dwell in it. <sighs> I feel like I'm preaching, which I mean, I'm okay with preaching. I just want the message to come across in the right way. Um, my thing is just be grateful and show that. Don't take anything for granted because as you can see, as you see, that it could be ripped away in an instant. I just say go at moving forward. Just know that the world is watching you and that people do watch you and people do support you. Um, people do believe in you. Taking the super gold color out of the Morphe palette. Um, but yeah, I feel like everybody can learn from this. And again, thank you to the beauty gurus that are not in this situation. Just know for you two that, oh yeah, that buffed out is nice. Um, that the same thing applies to you, though you're not in the situation. Anything can be taken from you in an instant. Nothing is promised to you. And to just be grateful that you're able to be on this platform. And that you have the ability to do it. Just be grateful. Okay, that's a cute little fall look. I will be right back with my face done, my eyelashes on, and things of that so I can close out this video. My mood is kind of off now. I don't know if you guys can tell. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. Oh, I'm so happy for fall. I really just love the fall makeup looks due to the fact that I ain't gotta be wearing all that color. Like I keep it simple with some brown, some some little purple, some gold. We could keep it simple that we ain't gotta be wearing color like for summertime. So I hope you guys like this look. Okay, before I go, I just wanna say that I know that this talk through was kind of all over the place. Um, I was upset, I was preaching. The whole nine, um, I do want to say that I wish everybody involved well. Um, even though I'm not a Jeffree Star fan, I don't wish bad things upon you. Um, I want to say that. Um, I do feel that you take your platform for granted. Um, I do think you take your supporters for granted. And I feel like you need a reality check. Um, I do feel that. Other than that, I wish everybody nothing but the best. Um, I look forward to possibly working with you guys one day, um, being in the same community with you guys. Um, I hope that you heal from whatever this is that you're going through. I hope this video got my frustrations out about what's going on in the beauty community, but I also hope it shed some light and some positivity into the beauty community. Um, so let's learn to not only throw positivity out there because I mean, I'm not going to stunt. Like, I'm 23. I done been in some drama. I be in my feelings. I be petty sometimes. We all have our moments. We all have our days. And you just learn and grow from them. Um, this is only the beginning for me. So thank you so much for supporting me, rocking with me. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget, my upload days are Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this, go ahead and share it, boo-boo. And yeah, bye, guys. <laughs>